that's it. So I'm delighted this afternoon. I have got Selenda Prendress from uh, Love Writing Co, who is going to talk to us about early handwriting and some tools that they have developed to support students with that. Um, as usual, I am just going to pass over because they do much better talking about it than I do. Over to you, Selenda. Thanks, thanks, Abigail. Ah, lovely to meet you all, and I'm really pleased to be here. So yeah, I'm Selenda, I'm co-founder of the Love Writing Company. Um, we created, um, we wanted to make an impact on a children's learning journey. Um, my journey started when my children were very little and they just hated writing. And I was one of those um, mad parents that just went out and tried to get everything to support them and help them and found, um, you know, it, it, it's quite um, difficult. So um, me being a single mom as well, there was little access to finance on what I could get. So I thought there's got to be more. So I started looking into the journey of um, handwriting, how we can make it easier and just really how children can learn to enjoy writing. And we found there was a bit of a disjoint between children learning to write and actually enjoying the process. So I've got a little bit of a presentation um, which we'll just like run through. You're welcome to ask questions um, like through or if you want to wait, it's entirely like up to yourselves. Is that all right, Abigail? Can I ask in between or? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Their microphones are muted, so they'll just have to type the questions in or if we want to unmute at the end, we can do. Yeah, perfect. OK, then. So I'm just going to share this now. Okay. So welcome to Love Writing. We're all about inspiring a love of writing. So um, there's a, a just something little about and I absolutely love this quote. The more you learn, the more places you'll go. So we're very much about learning and just making the process a little bit easier. So early writing. And I'm sure everyone knows. Well, I thought we'd just like run through like a little bit. So. Uh, as we all know, um, early writing is an essential part of a child's journey. It's, it's basically, it just helps with everything. It's a fundamental learning block of a child's um, learning journey. And basically, we, you know, we want to develop the fine motor skills. It's the best brain workout a child can have. And we truly believe it builds the foundation of a child's journey. Um, just a couple of things there, really. So also, we believe if a child can learn to write, they will learn to read more. It helps with their spelling. It helps with their grammar. And what we have found with various studies that we've done, it also builds a child's confidence and well-being. Right. So the challenge. So what we found is there's been a real disjoint between children learning to write and basically enjoying it. So writing is one of the worst subjects, um, especially with the pandemic now. What we found is children have fallen quite behind. And a lot of it is because they just didn't like there wasn't as much learning at home. And also the fact that they didn't get the interaction with their peers, with other like children. So studies have shown that writing is probably one of the worst subjects now compared to like reading and maths. So specific areas during the pandemic that really suffered was handwriting, writing, spelling and phonics knowledge. So uh, at the moment, a lot of early learning, early learners, providers um, are a little bit concerned about the decline. So what we found is um, there's a gap in the market uh, with products that can actually help like the children. So we've kind of looked into that and um, and are hoping we can go into this a little bit more. So what we've got is an opportunity to help children. We've got an opportunity to make that activity just so they learn, they want to learn and they are actually inspired to want to learn it. We all know if a child actually learns, learn, enjoys a task, they will actually learn it quicker as well. So our mission is to make learning to write fun and easier. So the importance of writing. Obviously, there's always the, at the moment we are often faced with the um, you know dilemma: is is learning to write needed? Is it still really important? With the increased use of computers and particularly e-learning, is it a dying is it a dying skill? Well. We believe, and when I speak to so many of my peers as well, handwriting is still so very important. It trains the brain. It proves like a child's cognitive functions more than typing. And that's why handwriting is still such an important task. So how is it important? Like 
More, more of the areas of the brain are activated when writing than typing. So a recent study, study showed that when writing, children exhibited increased activity in more in three areas of the brain. So that alone shows um, when they're actually writing rather than typing, it's already getting, it's, or the brain's already activated more. It also proven that writing, that writing uh, by hand sharpens critical thinking. When a child um, produce, uh, when a child is actually writing, they're producing more words, and they also express more ideas. So this demonstrates overall the activity of writing is just doing more than that as well. So what we found was uh, in a recent study that children who were actually writing by hand were talking more, expressing ideas, being more creative. Another reason why writing is still so very important. Handwriting increases attention. I think we all agree on that. Um, when a child, me personally, myself as well, if I write something down, I tend to remember it a lot more. If I'm sitting there typing away, for some reason, it just doesn't stay with me. I have to be actually writing, forming the words, putting pen to paper, and suddenly like my brain will retain it. It's exactly the same for children as well. When they're actually writing um, with the hand, then they will actually retain that information um, a lot more as well. So, and also writing by hand improves like reading comprehension. It's a known fact. If children write more, they're forming the letters, they're learning the letters as they're going along, their reading comprehension will improve a lot more as well. Writing and typing requires very different cognitive motor skills. Um, and handwriting is a very complex task, which we know. Um, feeling the pen to paper, moving the writing, writing the pencil, uh, sorry, moving the pencil across the paper. It all requires thought and it all requires process as well. So when ha with handwriting, when you see the letter appear on the page and also feel the movement of the um, pencil as well, it's a far more rich in ex experience. So a few things here. Um, we recently did some tips through that we shared with some parents. And what we found was we, we very much um, try to find out what it is the parents want. We're very parent focused and we get a lot of teachers who ask us questions as well. I, I don't know if Abigail will agree with me on this or not. What we found was, um, <laughs> she's shaking her head like what? Um, what we found was a lot of teachers are absolutely doing an amazing, brilliant job. But what we got was they haven't actually been trained themselves in handwriting, in handwriting techniques. So we created some very, very, very basic um, sort of like um, uh, spreadsheets and we created some basically very, very basic graphics to try and help these teachers. We actually had teachers, they're brilliant, they do an amazing job, but they don't actually know how to teach children how to hold a pencil, which was a bit surprising to myself and also they they didn't really know um what the correct postures are in hand drive posture is so so important if you look have a look at these two um graphics that we've created um it's sort of like it's a very very brief explanation and we can go a little bit more into it a bit further down as well but for me posture is very important. So we're here, we've got the child resting their form, forearms on the table. We're ensuring that the chair and table is the correct height. Again, if everything is the correct height for a child, they're just going to be a little bit more like comfortable. It's all at the right angle. The feet are at the floor, the bottom, the, the bottom to the back of the chair is placed correctly as well. So these are all things that little things that all make a difference that help support a child's handwriting journey. This is before they even like pick up the pencil, to be honest with you. So um, a couple of a couple of more graphs here, which I'm more than happy to share with Abby as well, if anybody like wants them. So yeah, again, what we found was especially um, supporting children um, in, in the um, SEN sector, Writing on vertical surface is absolutely great for handwriting. 
um, it just helps them build their strength as well. It builds their upper body strength. It builds their arms and shoulder stability. And it also helps like with good posture and wrist positioning. So I don't know if any of you guys do this at the moment and then we'll have a chat bit more about that as well. So just like everything else, if we go and do some sports, we're gonna go up in, we're gonna go in the gym or we're gonna like, you know, run around the, run around the park. What do we do? We warm up. We don't just go straight into it. For us, warming, it's exactly the same for handwriting as well. So it's particularly important, especially in the younger children. Do some warm up exercises. The children absolutely love it. They think it's like great fun. So before you actually start any handwriting practice, do a little bit of a warm up. It's, it's exactly the same as if you were going to the gym. You wouldn't go straight in and um, do like the um, pick up 10 kg dumbbells. Um, you would have a little bit of a warm up process. Same. So there's a few techniques there, like pushing the hands together, just like shaking hands and like, you know, stamping your feet up and down. Oh, the happy girls having a go. And just basically sitting up straight, reaching your arms into the air above head, above your head and stretching. Yeah, exactly. All like perfect. All warm up exercises, which all help. There is a lot more as well that you can do. And I'll go through a, a few of those as well a little bit more later on. So we've come across, we've, we've done the um, warm up handwriting exercises. Um, one of the things that I always get, which Abigail, you've probably come across this before as well, many times, is the pre-writing patterns. Um, we get a lot of parents and um, we get a lot of parents who feel pressurised that, that ch their child should be writing in a certain, up to a certain standard. They should be writing and forming certain letters and forms, um, uh, le letters, letters and words or shapes. And we say, when they're ready, they're ready. But what you can do is you can support what development. If they're ready to pick up a pencil, if they want to have a go, giving them the right tools is going to certainly help. But also don't feel pressurised um, with what they're like learning. So here are some pre-writing patterns in early years. Now, these are the, the you know, the, we should we should help. We should help and encourage children at the ages indicated. They should. This is this is all um, again, sources, studies done by, um, you know, other people. But it's been recognised that a child of these ages should be able to form those letters, recognise it, should be able to form those shapes, sorry. Recognising letters, understanding phonics and beginning to read are all needed in order for a child to write. Um, and also what's been established is diagonals are harder than vertical and horizontal lines. Um, there's a little note here saying that the X is not typically achieved until four years and 11 months. But this is all this is all, you know, a guide. This it is all no two children are the same. So but this is what they're saying in is standard for a child at these ages. They should be shaping these forms. And if they can shape these forms, these basic shapes, it really will help their literacy like development. I'll just keep going. If anybody asks any question, that's fine. So again, we're just going to come up to the warm up a little bit again as well. Um, like I've just said before, any physical activity, we should be warming up and it's the same with writing. So, yeah, there's a few things here you can do. I don't know if you do these um, with your younger like students. Play the air piano for a few seconds. Have a go. It's absolutely the kids absolutely love it. We we send this out to parents and parents come back and say, oh, my God, we've had such a laugh doing this. And the children absolutely like love it as well. So put put your little finger to the um, thumb tip and rapidly tap five times using like both hands exactly like that. Repeat your finger tapping exercises with your other fingers. And there's so many. So what you could do as well, you could grasp the right right wrist with your left hand and gently yank the arm 10 times. Very gently. Exactly. It's all warm up exercises. 
The children absolutely love it. They think it's fun. There's so many other exercises as well. But these are not using any equipment. They're just there what you've got. And like the kids find it so much fun. Oh, the tripod grip. We get so many questions like about this. So teaching your child to develop a good tripod grip is vital in a child's learning journey. And you know what? Children really do struggle with this. Um, the correct tripod grip on a pencil just basically allows the, the hand, it gives the hand the largest range of light movement. So by developing um, the tripod grip, it will help your child develop their pencil skills and increase their fluidity of movement as well. So how can you encourage, how can you encourage this tripod grip? Again, there are so many exercises that you can go through. And there's a few here that I've given an example for. You lay the pencil on the table with the tip pointing towards your child. Get them to pinch the pencil in between the thumb and the index finger. When they lift the pencil, let it fall back. I mean, there is so, so many more, but this we found has worked like the best for like a child. Yeah, then tuck the middle finger under the pencil so it rests firmly ready for writing. But there again on our website as well, there's like a lot more tips and tricks as well to like help them. Developing your finger and thumb opposition. Basically, this refers to the ability to turn and rotate the thumb so it can touch each fingertip of the same hand. This allows children to grasp. And grasping is like vital again when it comes to like the handwriting like um, development. So how can we get them to grasp? How can we get them to strengthen their hand uh, muscles as well? Like Abigail is just showing us as well with the ball, catching, throwing, squeezing, rubber balls and tennis balls. They are absolutely fantastic forms of exercise when it comes to grasping as well. Squeeze, squeezing large sponges to wring all the water out. Another great fun activity the kids absolutely like, love. Of course, you'll get soaked while they're doing it. But then again, we're all about having fun. So placing disc in a narrow slot. So a coin into a piggy bank is the path that is absolutely perfect. Um, they, they learn about mini and also game of connect four like just simply grasp it and putting it into the holes it's all thing it's all absolutely like fine motor skills and helping those children spinning tops wind up toys tiddlywinks games lightning uh buttoning linking chains again everything stringing beads is all teaching children how to use um how to grasp things it's all developing a child's fine motor skills what we found i mean like myself like i used to play in the streets with my brothers like um with marbles and balls and you know we spent we spent so many hours just hours and hours yeah playing outside children now pick up a phone before they pick up like a tour you know before they pick up like you know before they can do any of these activities like they will pick up a phone before they even pick up a ball in some cases I mean my little granddaughter today she came in she went straight for the remote control she's one years old and then like we take them away from her and say here you go here's all your books and toys and so we're very very focused she just immediately was attracted to this gadget um so again by encouraging them to play, um, by encouraging them to do basic exercises like this, just strengthening their hand. So again, you're helping them in their learning to write journey. So everything we do is all about them learning to write. So a couple of tips here for um, engaging primary SEN um, pupils like with literacy. So we're all we are very much about not highlighting what a child uh, spelling mistake there a child may be able to do or not able to do. Well, they we we're not about sort of like looking at what they're struggling with, but we do understand teaching literacy can be particularly challenging, especially with um, children in the visual and motor scale motor skills um, of send children being and they are being tested to the limit. So teaching. 
when it comes to send children, we have been told time and time again is very challenging. And I'm sure you guys all understand this way better than I do, to be honest with you. Um, so we are we're here to try and give you some tips and helps and support. So what I found in my journey whilst I was creating some products, I looked in everything that could help. So we're not just about our own resources, we're very much about everything else that can help as well. So some we found some like handwriting tools. Um, you must you might all be aware of these like already, but what we found is like the writing slopes when they when a if a pupil leans so far forward that their nose is practically on the paper that they write, a slope will help to ease their struggle. Similarly a smooth surface will encourage the use of both hands as well. Want to hold the pencil, want to hold the paper, uh, want to hold the paper. So again, um, with also uh, pencils that fit a child's hand correctly as well. We, we do a range of love writing pencils that all scale to fit a child's hand. So we are get, being told time and time again that they are actually helping a child um, when it, they are actually helping send children with their literacy because they just fit their hand better. There's a better flow of writing. Grips, pencil grips, um, they are known to help children as well. And illuminated writing boards. Now I've not actually seen an illuminated writing board, but I'm guessing you guys um, are very familiar with them but what I did uh, what I did find um, they provide reward and stimulation when experimenting with handwriting so it's all about finding the tools that can actually help them so fitting supports again um, what we found is um, the children the children who had like seat wedges foot balancers items to help relax a child all made a difference when it came to engaging the child with literacy and writing. So visual discrimination aids, coloured overlays, visual tracking windows, again I'm sure everything that you guys are familiar with. Um, and one of the key things that we found about engaging a child when it comes to literacy was actually creating a quiet space um, we found if a child is overwhelmed, especially when they're writing, it may help just to, you know, get them a quiet spot, give them a beanbag, soft lighting, something that they can relax, can relax with. But most of all, it's about being creative. It's about making the child smile. It's about using the power of art. It's about using, you know, just natural senses and also, most importantly, keeping it fun. Um, I think in a lot of the processes when it comes to learning to write, people have forgotten that you just need to make it fun for them. Is that all right, Abby? Is that, is that going okay? Yeah. So um, a little bit about how we can help um, a child's learning journey. So we're basically all about making learning to write fun and easier. So we have worked in partnerships with child behaviour specialists, teachers and SEND therapists to make sure all our products are developed to truly help a child's journey. We test all the products in classrooms with parents and the best testimonials we have are our children. We get great thing, we get great feedback like I, I want to write with my magic pencils. I they, we get feedback that they're actually having a lot of fun. We get feedback um, that the children get up in the morning and say, can I do my love writing, please? So for us, um, a lot of children call them the magic pencils and we absolutely love that. So what, also, how do we do this? Um, we do it with physical resources and we also provide like online um, download sheets and workshops as well. And we want to expand in that furthermore as well. So how Live Right In Co products help a child's journey. So basically all our products are scaled to fit a child's hand. And I know Abigail has been trialing some as well. Um, so they're all designed to get a softer flow of writing. They're all designed um, to, they're all scaled to fit a child's hand with a wider diameter. It's a softer core and the shape and the length all designed to fit a child's hand. So it just makes that flow of writing a lot easier for them. 
Our activity books and downloads are all designed to turn writing practice into fun and into play whilst establishing the, the core writing skills. Where we differ is a lot of companies um, make pencils or pens um, and parents are expected or teacher expected to go out and then create the worksheets, go and find books, go and find other activities as well. We we want to take that away from parents and teachers. So we've created a range of um, downloads, download packs. We've created a range of books. We've created a range of activities and many of them are free on our website as well. That all supports um, the journey. So your writing tools as our pencils, our colouring pencils and crayons are all the physical tool that will develop a child's handwriting. Um, the books are the fun element of it. So the books, the books are there to like basically take away the the pain, the task of learning to write. So our pencils lessen tension. They've been um, there when we did some studies. They 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 were noted that a lot of children actually had that white knuckle syndrome. So they because they were grasping the pencil so tightly on a standard pencil. Soon as they started writing with the love writing, they relaxed the grip. There was less tension, so their hand was not hurting, which meant they were learning more and writing for longer. They were writing um, more words per minute as well. So within the first use, we could see that our products made such a dramatic difference on a child's um, grasp, uh, on their grip, and also the balance as well. So again, like I said, everything's developed, everything is age appropriate. Nobody else actually develops age appropriate writing pencils. So we don't give a four year old adult sized bike. We don't give them an adult sized um, football to go to learn and play with. Um, so why do we give them adult sized writing tools? It just doesn't make any sense. Even in the classroom, you walk in, the children are all sitting in small desks, uh, uh, on small desks, on small chairs. You, they go to the bathroom. The bathroom again is designed for little children exactly the same when it comes to writing tools as well so we do um three we do sorry two two age ranges the age three to five so it's all about them having fun all about them teaching them pencil control letter formation the alphabet phonic, phonics keywords and building mainly their hand and fingers finger strength so the better writing range which is a six to nine range is basically improving and developing cursive writing, it's developing their keywords, their sentences. I was actually amazed, um, a couple of teachers said to me, the children um, at the age of six, some of them in schools, didn't know um, the, the seasons is something they really struggle with. They didn't understand the months of the year. Um, and we put that all in. So a lot of children do know it and understand it, but our books were created so it follows the curriculum but in a fun way so again our six to nine pencils and coloring pencils all designed to fit a child's hand and again what what we found is um they want to learn more they want to write more we've only got one book in the six to nine at the moment and it's crazy the amount of parents that keep coming back to me saying when's the next one coming out so like how you know that's a, such an extremely positive sign for us so the difference that we make, again, these were like just some studies. Um, these were like some studies that were done. Um, some of you might know Pete Griffin. He's a motor neuro and development specialist here in the West Midlands. He's a teacher for 50 years and he's now, now a practicing uh, motor neuro and uh, development specialist. Um, and he did the studies independently for us, went into a few schools, tested about 300 children over three months and um, these were the results that he found when children used our love writing products 95 percent of children had improved writing from first use he had a very particular technique that he used and the way he tested them as well so and 80 percent of children wrote more words per minute 87% of children had improved grip and control. This was over the three month period, but he said these results stats were pretty much seen in the first couple of uses as it was. So love writing is award winning. 
Um, we've won some awards on our design. We've won some uh, we awards on the what's good to do, and we're accredited by accredited by the British Dyslexia Association as well. So basically, the hundreds of five star reviews that we get from happy parents is is the best testimonial testimonial that we can have, and we're very pleased to be helping um, the children and help them in their journeys whilst um, they learn to write. So we're all about making it fun. We're all about making it easier. And I'm here to support you all as well. So obviously the SEM sector, you guys are experts way more than way more than I am. But what we have found is we get a lot of parents coming to us and saying what a difference that the products make. So um, that's that's me. That's my contact details there as well. So lovely. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you very much, Solenda. So I get the feeling people usually type questions at this point. So we'll give them a couple of seconds to type. And I'm actually going to steal control of the screen because I've got a new gadget to play with. Oh, great. I, I just have to share. Um, so you should be able to see your your items on my desk. Yes. Um, so wow. you very kindly sent me some of these to play with before. Well, they actually came just after Christmas. You sent them just before Christmas. Um, so I have been playing with them. We have a four year old in our house and he is the first one in two generations to be left handed. So we're all kind of struggling with it slightly. That yep. makes it sound like left handed is a disease. It really isn't. I'm very proud of him for being left handed. My dad was left handed. Um, but it's it's doing something different that we've struggled with in our house, if we're honest. As you said on one of your slides, vertical, brilliant. We're absolutely perfect on vertical. Horizontal, <laughs> no chance. Um, so he has been playing with these. Um, these this one here is uh, one of the pencils. We've got the three to five year old stuff. And I, I, I quite liked your, you know, pick it up and flick it into the, the thing. So I can now do that on my left hand, which I've been struggling with before. Um, and we've also got the colouring crayons of which, of course, I've picked out pink and purple because they're the most important colours. Um, and then I also have both of your books. Now, we've only used one of them and we've only used a couple of pages, to be fair. And hopefully this will show up because he has a very faint. Um, I can see it. Uh, I can see it. Yeah. So he. You know, straight line. Just to, just to add, he is four years old. Just in case I didn't actually say that, we're not talking about a, a very old child here. So he's going across his lines. He was enjoying it, going from left to right. And we had a discussion about hippos finding presents, and decided that they wouldn't be wrapped. Um, <laughs> on the on the next page, that it was interesting. You were talking about the um, zigzag lines, so the um, the Beery Butka test with the diagonal lines because this one we could really see where he started to struggle doing that the wavy line not so much but the uh the zigzags were definitely um going in there and then we've got some circles and things on the other side and then uh <laughs> trying to get him to write his letters that was fun um so he can write his letters just in case anybody thinks my son can't write his letters he can write his letters but he tends to reverse them and uh he, he tends to write them about this big <laughs> Rather yeah, than how nice and small. following these? Like, how's he found? Um, um, he, bees weren't too fine, too bad actually. He's got a D in his name, so he tends to remember that. But he he creates them the wrong way round, as opposed to reverse them when writing them. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but that his A's are on there. It is very very faint, but hopefully you can see them. And yeah. he did have a go at colouring, and we can rub those colours out as well. So I, I don't think you did. You say they were erasable, or did you forget? No, they are. Yes, they are erasable, and we've made them erasable because we found um, a lot of children um, sometimes get a little bit frustrated that they have missed it off a line or it's gone over. So we just thought we'd make them erasable to make it again. It's a fun tool but also has a function that it supports a child's confidence when it comes to making a mistake. It's fine, make a mistake. And yes, like with the fact that our pencils are left and right-handed friendly is a big thing as well. Um, we get so many parents from left-handers saying, uh, they love it they they're happy they have they don't seem to struggle with as much with our um products as they did with a standard pencil they really struggled with ours they were happy to pick it up it fit their hand so it's left and right handed friendly and also the fact that it's a re the coloring pencils are erasable the children love that as well <laughs> Absolutely right. We didn't get any further than that, but I just wanted to say that at the back of the book, we've got number formation. This one goes from A to Z, if anybody was yeah. wondering. 
um, and has got a little picture to go with each one. Um, we then get some stickers at the back of the book. And you gave me a recommendation if I was using this with a slightly older child, which was to take one of the stickers from the back and Cover just it. pop it over that yeah. bit at the front there. Yeah. yeah, we've got, we found, because um, this is, again, this is just a guide, um, but we have had, we have six, seven, eight year olds using three to five that can't form the letters. Um, and then one of the parents did say, oh, she's, she's seven, she won't use it. And I just said, stick it. Uh, use one of the stickers cover the three to five and she went oh my god she went she loves it she went it's amazing and she's writing um uh she's writing so much more now and the three to five whereas it would have bothered her before again it's a guide every child is different these are just basic letter formation um books that really are just there to engage just to have a bit of fun but actually teach them the alphabet absolutely um, so your book two, just if anybody's wondering what's the difference between book one, book two, we've got the shapes at the beginning. My son is definitely not ready for the for the yeah. closer together bits at the moment, which is why I've not even approached it. Um, we've got some quite nice kind of curved. Yes, curved it's big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so some children, some children can do them, some others can't. So we have um, we have a four year old on um, who you know it just amazes us she just flew through that book and she's just turned five and she's getting through the six to nine we're amazed but she's been using these products since she was like about she was ready to write basically um she was just ready to write she was ready to form letters so she's been using these our products for two years and she's continued and we can see a we can see such a big difference um in her right and her mom um, has bought so much for her school friends and the school friends have just said like yes we can really see like a difference so some kids are ready some some aren't absolutely so we've got words we've got um first letter of the words to fill in on those again it goes to the alphabet nice little word search down there little image the words that go with it so again it goes to the alphabet and we get to the end and we've got a hooray you finished and again, a page of stickers. Just remind me, there's something about the paper as well, isn't there? Yeah. So everything we do, all our all our products are obviously um, environmentally sourced. So everything is sustainably sourced. And um, the wood that we, the paper that we use is a wood fire paper. So it's very easy to put the pen to paper. It's a very very soft soap, and but also as well, it's high grade. Children will uh, most of the time, children, when you've got thin paper, they push the pencil through very quickly and sharply. So it rips. These are pretty robust, as Abigail will tell you. It's pretty thick paper. It's wood fire paper. So it just the 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 pencil will flow a lot nicer as well on the paper. Um, and also the 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 pencil that Abigail's using again it's the we have a very soft core in it it's a very soft graphite which is if you try if you try and put a bit of pressure on it abigail to show them very hard to break it will break at some point but if you can put lots of pressure on it's not break. strong enough <laughs> it i am really pressing with that guys <laughs> and are we again when pete did the study over three months our pack of five pencils lasted longer uh, well just the one pencil lasted longer than three pencils that he got through the standard long the ones where the children um put too much pressure on and a graphite keeps breaking our pencil lasted longer than three of the other stand because you have to keep sharpening them these barely need sharpening and also they don't apply as much pressure so they just don't break I agree that I, I actually haven't sharpened any of these yet. And yeah, as you guys have just seen, I'm not left handed as I've just tried to write my name uh, and it looks awful. <laughs> but I wanted to just show it will rub out. And I can also do the same with crayons as well. I just shade some. Per Sorry, I'm completely wrecking this page. No, no. Um, when your son comes to use it, it'll be like, Mom, who's wrecked my doing this? Um, I can rub out those colours as well, which I think was for me it was quite an interesting one it made it as you say some children who like to be a little bit perfectionist don't like to go out of the edges using that elsewhere but this paper is really high quality yeah um, definitely yeah. high quality well, in there this is it you see you can um what we get is we get like parents who give it to one sibling and then they rub it all out and give it to the other one so you've got the fact that you can pass it on to other siblings and not only that children like using it so much the parents are are 
are erasing and reusing the same thing again and again. We've got parents, though, that said we've used it so much, we have to buy another book. And they buy the same book again and again. And that, it just doesn't happen very often. And, you know, the, that, again, is testimonial um, to how much fun the children are actually having. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll stop sharing my screen now. Sorry. <laughs> I had a new toy I had to play. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's great. And how have you found it? So, so for, as a parent, how have you found the experience, Abigail? Um, he has engaged with it. He has played with them occasionally. I have to be fair, we haven't pushed him to do it because there's yeah. so much going on that we just don't have time at the moment. Um, but he does use the colouring crayons when he's downstairs. He's, he's had a math sheet come home this week with a sequence on it. So it's, it's some scarves he had to colour in. It was red, blue, green, red, blue, green. Continue the pattern. So he pulled out the crayons and he was going across and, and colouring those in. So it doesn't just have to be used for... For those purposes it can be used for normal everyday purposes i suppose um and i have to admit that the, the pencils you actually sent me two packs you sent me the purple pack and the blue pack um the purple pack has been distributed around the house so it's in various different places because every time i need a pencil of course i can never find one i can now find one um, your parents love it too absolutely awesome. love Okay. Okay. And, you know, they're smaller they fit in my handbag but they're chunky which means I don't have to scrabble to try and find it yes you'll find it straight away and how do you feel that they would um help um other sort of like you know assistants and and and, and sort of like people who are trying to um support their send children do you think I think it's knowing your child and knowing what they need and knowing what they want so like I can see it working with Quite a lot of my children like they do need that support i can also identify that some children it's it's not going to make much difference for not make much support um we were talking before the the, the session about your um young man with hypermobility yeah. and the, the chunky grip will help but he's yes, yeah. still going to get stress in his hand he's still going to ache it's still going to be difficult for him to use it's not going to it's not it's not going to be a cure it's it's a tool not a a cure yeah it'll just lessen the stress won't it that's what Hopefully. we find um they it's like they have less tension on their hands yeah 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 it's, it's just knowing what's right for your students um i like something with weight to it the, the, anybody who's ever met me will know i use fountain pen actually um but i like fountain pen because they tend to come quite heavy and if they're not heavy i can put a cartridge in one end and i can put a bit of blue tack down the bottom end and give it that weight i like a heavy implement that helps me it helps me know where the pencil is in my hand um so it's, it's, it's knowing your students and knowing what they need um and, and, and this is certainly one gap in the market that I think you filled. Thank you. And I'm, I'm glad yeah. I'm glad your little boy is starting to use it and he'll he'll use them more as when he's ready. Absolutely. It's a case of leaving them out and having them available. Pick and choose. What do you want to use? When do you want to use that? I'm a firm believer in that. And you you will find and we have found uh, when we when um, a pet when uh, we've had it where we've just left parents have said we've just left a normal pencil couple of pencils and we put yours next to them children automatically know that they fit their hand and they go to the they go to the love writing pencils yeah they go to the ones that fit their hands automatic because they know it's for them they're little That's people with little hands so it just makes sense i also think that the colors help as well though because there's a pale blue and there's a dark purple they, they tend to be the colors that we we head for whereas yeah. um I don't know, normal pencils just can't, don't quite hit it. Thank you for presenting to us, Solendra. I think it's going to be a, a, you know, a really helpful video for people, especially when people ask, what can we do to support handwriting? And I think that first part of the session was really helpful for everybody. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And feel free to reach out um, and go on the website. There's lots of helps and tips and just reach out anytime. So that's, that's no problem at all. OK.